ahead and get started. Um, I will come back to this in a few minutes. Um, I posted yesterday on my um, Instagram here about um, a floral arrangement that's, um, I'm just really in loving the colors. And I was thinking I might, um, I've already got some pinks in here anyway, so I'm gonna just show y'all that real quick. I made this floral arrangement <laughs> actually on Sunday and uh, grab some of these beautiful ranunculus, these red one, red um, flowers and the white tulips yesterday. And these roses are from my uh, garden in my backyard. And they're starting to kind of wilt there, but, and then a lilac, my, my lilac tree is blooming for the first time since I've lived in this house for the past two years. But then we've got some of the little cute little lavender daisies, but this has just really been inspiring me over the past couple of days. And I'm gonna pull some of these colors um, from this piece, from this um, floral arrangement that I made and put them in this painting that I've started back here behind me. So I am going to go ahead and get started. Um, I am just going to paint on this and at some point, um, in a little bit, I will check back in with you guys and see if you had any questions for me. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna paint and let y'all watch the process. This is a, um, uh, I have a lot of people think that painting abstract is really easy, and it is so not. <laughs> I have painted figurative work. That's where I started, is doing figurative stuff. And this is actually much more difficult and much more challenging to be able to have a successful abstract painting. Um, so this is usually how they start out with just um, uh, marks and uh, color on the canvas just to get something there to get the white canvas gone. And then I'm just gonna turn this just slightly so you guys can see. This is a large diptych um, that is pretty close to being completed. And I have been working on this um, off and on over the past few months um, while I've worked on other pieces. And so it, it, takes, it takes a while to get from this stage to the stage over there that you see. Um, it's not a fast process and there's many, many layers and there's many, many um, shifts uh, throughout the process, I create intuitively, meaning I do not start with a plan. I may start with a color palette sometimes, like in the case of the flowers, um, but it can shift at any point during the, the creation of the piece, depending on what I feel like um, the piece needs. And it's just a instinctual feeling thing uh, more than anything. So. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work back here on this piece. Um, just see who all has joined me. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people here. Hello, hello, hello. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. This is awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoy watching. I will probably be broadcasting um, for about, mm, I'd say probably around 30 to 45 minutes. And then I will pop back on again later today. I will, I do plan on saving this. Hopefully everything goes well and I can save this down. Um, so if you have to leave, you can come back and watch it later, but it does only last for 24 hours. So if you have to hop offline and come back later to watch the recording, be sure you do that within the next 24 hours um, or it will be gone. <laughs> so um, just make sure you do that. And I do hope to be doing these more often. So be sure if you're not following me, make sure you do that and um, even turn on notifications so that way you'll know when I go live as well. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. I said, I wanna get some pink in this piece. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Mm. All right. 
going to try not to be in y'all's way so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves as I work on this piece. Uh, because like I said, I'm, I'm gonna try and just really get into this piece so you guys really get a um, feel for my uh, the way my process goes. Um, and uh, yeah, so. This is a really yummy red right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna put some of that in there. Hmm, let me thin that out. Lots of layers to go. <laughs> I wish I had like a dual camera thing so y'all could see the craziness that's over here on my uh, table, but uh, don't have that with uh, Instagram. So, to work with what I got and looking at the painting is much more interesting than my work table, so. to get my big brushes out. <laughs> big paintings call for big brushes. 
Otherwise, it'll take me forever to get a bunch of layers on here. I wanna get this moving a little faster. Oh, and I like that. See, I like how this mixed here, this red was still wet, and I started going over it with the lavender, and I really like that, so I think I'm gonna, on purpose, mix up a color. I like those two together. Working this way is all about discovering different things along the way. It's not just about what you know. When you work this way, you can discover things along the way. One of the things I love about the intuitive process
Gosh, it's so strange to work in the quiet. I'm so used to having music on, but of course, can't do that with uh, the whole copyright thing. Can't do that on a live stream. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can uh, broadcast from my iPad um, on Facebook. I had brought it up here so I could actually check the stream and st stuff, but this might actually work. So I'm going to try this and we shall see. I don't have a stand for that thing, so it, this is gonna be kind of weird. All right, hello. I had some difficulties earlier um, broadcasting from my laptop here on Facebook. I'm already live on Instagram, so um, hopefully this is gonna work. We shall see. I don't even know if uh, I'm gonna be able to see comments, because with the Facebook Live, I've not been able to see comments. So, um, Anyways, I'm working on this piece and I'll be live for probably another 30 minutes, 40 minutes or so. And then I'm hoping to pop back on later as well um, after I've progressed um, a little further in this piece. So anyways, enjoy watching. I will check back to see um, what you guys are up to and questions. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Get some white in here. And, uh, I'm really wanting to uh, get this, uh, some of these layers dry, and I use a hair dryer. And normally, I uh, have it plugged in right here, up underneath. Actually. My plug is right behind that big diptych right there. So I'm going to have to improvise and put it over here. And hopefully this is not going to be too loud for you guys. Sorry if it is. I won't turn it on really high. <laughs>
right, I don't want to kill y'all's ears. So um, the green areas are still pretty uh, damp. So um, and I'm wanting to add some white just to break up some of the color. And um, it's just a push and pull process. So I'm going to, I'm going to attempt to do that and hope that I end up avoiding some of the wet areas to not pick up some of that green. Um, anybody that's joining me on Facebook, I have to get down here because I have this on my table. Um, be sure to say hi when you join so I know you're here. All right. This stage I'm not concerned um, too much with uh, composition this is just getting like I was telling you this is just getting um, marks on the canvas to just get things going and at some point uh, I, I will see a, a composition start to emerge. I'm trying to see if I can do this to where I'm not like right up in the camera on Facebook because it's much closer than you guys because just I don't have anywhere to put my iPad. But um, as far as um, where I put stuff at this point, this is super, super early in the process. So um, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not concerned about the composition and stuff right now. It's just getting marks and colors on the canvas to give my, give myself something to respond to. Um, like I said, it's an intuitive process. I don't pre-plan any of this. And this is how I go about building my paintings. It is a, um, a multi-layered process. Many layers of paint built up over time. Um, and a lot of people ask me how long a painting takes me. <laughs> Um, I can't really quantify that with a, um, a finite amount of time because of um, how my process works. Um, I'm typically working on more than one piece at a time. I shift in between pieces and um, sometimes they come together really quickly um, in a matter of days, but most of the time it's uh, weeks or months. Um, and uh, so, like I said, it's, there's just no way for me to say how much time it takes me for one painting. So that's why I wanted to show you guys more of the beginning process. So you see where it starts out and then, um, and then if you've seen my finished work, you know how they end up and um, they look nothing like this when they're done. So. For those of you just joining me on um, Facebook or Instagram, um, I'm trying my best not to talk too much while I'm painting so that I can really get into the process. But um, uh, I used to teach painting a lot, um, and so part of my brain kind of goes to that. So I'm trying to get myself out of that so that I can go live more and it doesn't hinder um, uh, me progressing through the piece um, so that you guys can see as much of my process as I can share um, in a short amount of time because I'm not going to like leave the, the broadcast going like all day. Um, I'm just going to do it in short snippets. So it oh, looks like, oh, June. Hi, June. Oh, June's uh, switched from Instagram over to Facebook now. So yeah, I, I, I did get the, um, the Facebook uh, feed going, but it's on my, um, on my iPad. So I had to, I don't have a, a tripod stand for that, so it's just on my tabletop here next to my computer. So it's a, a little different of a view. I'm a little closer up um, on Facebook. So if you follow me on Facebook, I'm Paulette Insall Art on Facebook and on Instagram, just Paulette Insall. So you can go and see two different views if you want to switch between the two because <laughs> the one on Facebook's a little closer up. But um, I think my camera on my iPad, it's not quite as high a quality as the one on my phone because my iPad's like an iPad Air 2 and my phone's an, um, an 8 plus so it's got the better camera on it so
want to see how many of you guys are still here. Looks like I got a few still here on Instagram. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's Doris, Elena. Who else is here? Anna, hi. Adrian. Marina, Marina's here. Yay! Sweet. Okay. Hello. I'm so glad you all could join me. There's so many people on here saying hi. It's hard to keep track. So thank you for joining me today. Sweet. And let's see. Sweet. Iris is here. Sammy's here on Facebook. And I said hi to June already. Hi, you guys. Great. So glad you could join me. I am going to attempt to be quiet now. I keep saying that and then I keep talking. I turn the sound off on my my son is <laughs> texting me from school he must be on on break or lunch or something I had texted him earlier and now it's dinging and I forgot to turn that off <clears throat> I don't know if y'all could hear that or not but excuse me I think I'm going to take this one down that's over here next to it because I just realized it's so close to it that I run the risk of getting paint on it from this one. So I am going to move that over. Here. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to see if I can kind of turn that a little bit. There we go. All right.
Hi, Deborah. Deborah joined us on Facebook. Hello. Who else has joined us over on Instagram? Some of you guys, I, you're, you're, in, it's like trying to pronounce your um, Instagram <laughs> profile names is kind of challenging because um, it's not your, it's not your name and it's something kind of, you know, like Rabbi, Rabia, then Lilac Pink join, Nicola, Nic yeah, so hi everyone. I am just, um, just trying to paint for you guys and trying to be quiet so I can get in the process so you guys can um, really see how I go about building one of my pieces. Just wanted to let you know that in case you just logged on. <laughs> So if uh, you haven't said hi yet, be sure to say hi so I know you're here. I'm trying to pop over periodically and look at the screen to see who's joined and say hi.
guys are a quiet bunch today. <laughs> Not a lot of conversation going on. Hopefully you're enjoying watching this process. <laughs> like I told you, I warned you ahead of time. It, it's not a rapid process. Yeah, definitely. If you're enjoying this, if you don't want to say anything, give me some hearts. That works too. Um, so just hit that heart button and uh, that lets me know that you're enjoying it. That encourages me to do this more. So if you want me to do this more, give me some hearts and, uh, and you know, sharing this with your friends, all the things like that will let me know that you're enjoying it and encourages me to do it more often. So. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thanks for all the hearts, y'all. Y'all rock. All right. Cool. Keep them coming. <laughs> Keep them coming. See how wet different parts are here. I'm just look, trying to look at it from an angle so I can see if there's like what spots are starting to dry. Because there's a lot going on. Let's see if I can get over here so everybody can see me and I'm not like super close, <laughs> not blocking the whole thing. Um, so, uh, there's a lot going on on here right now, and it's starting to, um, some of it's starting to dry, some of it's still damp, and my tendency is to want to pick up my, um, <laughs> my hair dryer again. Um, I do have this set on cool settings, so this is not, like, blasting it with a lot of heat, but, um, I don't want to bust y'all's eardrums with this guy. I don't know how loud <laughs> this is oh deborah, deborah on facebook said they are watching and quietly paying attention awesome <laughs> and so uh, thank you and uh so i saw there was a bunch of hearts going there for a little bit so i appreciate that um were any of you guys on when i used the hair dryer before if so, let me know in the comments and let me know if it was really loud because if it is really loud, then um, I will not use it and I will just try to adapt the way I'm applying the paint so that I'm not um, muddying up things that I want, I feel like well, I want to stay. So just let me know that in the comments if you were here earlier when I was using the hair dryer to dry some of the areas, let me know. Uh, how it sounded, if it was really loud or if it was um, not a big deal. I'm not going to use it right now because, again, I don't know how loud it is for y'all. <laughs> I'm assuming y'all can hear me as well. So I never, I never ask you guys if you're able to hear me okay. Looks like I don't think I don't think you guys on Facebook were here when I was using the hair dryer, and maybe I don't know how the comments are as far as on uh, Instagram if they're top to bottom or oh okay so 
I was at the top of the comments, unfortunately, on Instagram. There's been so many. Y'all have actually been commenting like crazy. Uh, oh, there's Christina. Hi, Christina. Uh, yeah, Katrin, definitely the style is, is feminine. Most of my work is feminine because that's just what comes out of me. <laughs> um, I do have a few pieces um, from time to time that, that end up being a, um, um, a, a color palette that uh, that is it's not overtly feminine, you know, quote unquote feminine. Um, trying to think, I'm th looking over at some pieces. I'm gonna just go grab one real quick. Um, so it looks like y'all can hear me fine. And maybe none of you guys were, I'm like right in front of the camera on Facebook, sorry. Um, I'm so glad y'all are enjoying watching, sweet. Thank y'all, just keep giving me hearts. Oops, I didn't mean that. I was like, what did that just happen? I'm sitting here scrolling through. Thank you for all your kind words. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you. So it looks like maybe no one was here when I was using the hairdryer before because no one said anything. So um, if you're just logging on and you haven't said hi yet, be sure to say hi so I can see um, that you're here. Oh, Marina said you'd love the phase where I'm going to calm down parts. Yeah, this this phase is right near the beginning. I did not have many layers on it um, when I went live this morning. And so I'm still in the very, very beginning process, the very beginning layers of this piece. And I did that on purpose because I have a lot of people um, want to know how they start because they see how they end up. And um, because of the way my process is, um, they change so much. Uh, you wouldn't, wouldn't even know it was the same painting. Sometimes there's, uh, you know, uh, I've had, had pieces where um, I got to a point where I felt like I couldn't move any further and I, I didn't feel it was finished. It wasn't, wasn't at a point where it, I felt like it could stand as a finished piece. And so I went in and made a humongous change and it completely shifts the piece and it ended up a completely different painting. So um, there could be several paintings underneath the painting. Sometimes that happens, but it all adds to the history of the piece. So some pieces, that's just their journey. Um, so I was going to, oh, um, if you're late, I'm planning to, um, Hopefully Instagram and uh, Facebook too will allow me to save this out. So once the live broadcast ends, you will have 24 hours to go back and watch anything you missed. So um, if you did if you did join late, you do have the opportunity to do that. And again, um, I'm just gonna uh, say, you know, um, you can, uh, um, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any more um, of my lives, and you get notified, make sure you're following me and make sure you, um, I believe both Instagram and Facebook have a way to um, site like um, select um, something that allows you to be notified uh, when I go live. So if you do that, then you'll know even if you miss my announcement because I, I, I announced it yesterday on Instagram and Facebook and then this morning I announced the time and I was a little bit late um, just trying to get everything squared away and then I had technical difficulties with Facebook and so it's just it's live you know things happen and I was just trying to go with the flow and figure it out on the fly a way to go ahead and get you guys on Facebook here with me so that I could have everyone here with me at the same time so you could see this piece progress for the amount of time I was going to be on live this morning because it's still oh well, wait it's not morning for me anymore because I'm it's noon no wonder my stomach was growling <laughs> So, anyways, I was going to just really quick go grab one of the pieces because someone said um, these pe this um, this piece had very feminine colors. So I was going to just go grab a piece because I mean, there's another piece I'm working on that isn't so feminine, but it's huge, and 
I wouldn't be able to really grab it. So bear with me a sec. This piece, for instance, this is a finished piece. This is um, a 24 by 30. So this is, um, as you can see, it's smaller than this one. Um, and I would not say that this is a feminine color piece, but, though. Um, uh, so this one would be one that um, would work for um, for guys in their their home. So um, I do tend to gravitate towards the feminine colors, but not in every single painting. Again, my process is intuitive and um, I, I gather a lot of inspiration um, from just my surroundings. And I live in the Pacific Northwest. And so there's lots of green um, around me. So green tends to pop up in all my pieces and, um, and the seasons tend to kind of uh, dictate my my color palettes as well to some degree. Um, again, not necessarily always consciously, usually it's more of um, uh, an intuitive process. So um, anyways, just wanted to show y'all that because someone had um, made a comment on this piece being um, very feminine colors. And I don't know how much the color palette will change over the course of this piece because sometimes they do. Um, so it's still too early for me to be able to say with any certainty where this is going to end up color palette wise. So I try to limit, um, I try to limit to uh, like five, five colors or so and I Within those colors, I do different values um, and shades of those colors to give um, more visual interest and depth to the work. Um, so even if it is a pink, there may be five different shades of pink in the piece, for instance. And pink has been a really popular color for me. Um, I've sold a lot of works with lots of pink. So um, I'm trying to do um, a little more of those because uh, they... Um, they, people really love my pieces with uh, the the pink being one of the dominant colors. So, and I enjoy working with pink. So it's win win. <laughs> yep. So okay, I'm just gonna say hi to. Oh, so Elena said the hair dryer was wasn't bad at all. Go ahead and use it again. Awesome. Hi, Betty. Glad you could join me today. Thank you, Elena. You're so sweet. All right. Awesome. I'll pop back over here. Whew, excuse me. Keep doing that. I keep forgetting. I accidentally pinned a comment. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. It's Christina, right? I'm like, I'm sitting here. Oh, maybe it's Mandela, Mandela Flower. That's the name that's popping in my head right now. My my brain's kind of scattered, and sometimes names get mixed up. I do that a lot with my family. Even I will, I will call my husband by my son's name, and my son by my husband's name, and sometimes my son by my dog's name. So. Sometimes names get kind of like transposed around. So forgive me if I get your name wrong when I say hi or say something to you. Sweet, Christina, I was right, yay! <laughs> Very cool. So we've got someone from Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Benny, for joining me today. Sweet. Awesome, you guys are from all over. And I know that there were some people from Europe that were planning on popping on as well. I just got back from Europe the beginning of April. I went to went to um, London and Paris and Rome. So that was amazing. It was my first time in Europe, my first time um, really out of the country. I've been to Canada a couple of times. 
Um, and it's so funny because when I said that, it was like, Europeans were like, yeah, that doesn't really count. It's basically like an extension of America. And I guess kind of, sort of, it is. Um, so that was, um, that was kind of funny. So my first real, real, real trip outside of the country. And um, it was amazing. We were gone for 12 days, which was a lot for me. Um, and it was quite overwhelming by about the ninth day when we were leaving Paris. I was kind of ready to already come home, even though it was amazing. It was a lot. We jam-packed so many museums and, and attractions, like sightseeing things, monuments and whatnot, um, into the days that, for me, it was like inspiration overload, you know? So, um, I look forward to going back again, but doing one city at a time. My favorite was Paris. and people